uh, had a clear picture uh, set to happen in the country. There was a planned rollout of digital identity cards, but uh, the headline on the Daily Nation back page see, uh, reads, Court puts the on planned rollout of digital cards. That's right. They were known as, or they are known as Maisha Namba, which is a third generation ID card, which is a digital ID and a database that will consolidate existing and independent databases into a single register. We also mentioned this is the third attempt this sort of singular ID that consolidates all your information. We used to have the plastic laminated ID, then they did the new generation one. Yeah. Uh, then now we had Huduma number. Again, if you have a Huduma number, just let me know. Or if you have a Huduma card, because mm -hmm. I, I don't think anyone actually ended up getting the card. It ended up being a huge, huge waste of taxpayers' money. Yeah. And now here we have which has been halted by the court. Yeah, digital identity cards meant that it would have one a chip mm -hmm. and it expires after 10 years. And everyone uh, we interrogated or had a contact with on Tuesday, uh, on our comment section especially, we saw comments such as, does my citizenship expire. only require 10 years? Does it expire? Yeah. So that was the big question that uh, was being asked. Uh, there's a lot of things happening right now, but of course there's a uh, pending determination of our petition filed at Garissa-based lobby. Uh, the government might have uh, to wait a little bit. Uh, that is UPI, otherwise known as Maisha Numbers, Mariam has said. The third generation ID card, uh, the Maisha digital ID, and the Maisha database that was uh, that will consolidate and independent uh, databases in a single register. Mariam, our biggest worry was if... Um, if an ATM can actually ATM card can be hacked, hacked yeah. then it means that all our details, Simple if they've been ID. consolidated in one, right. that is NSSF, NHIF, uh, maybe all your documentation as a student, your bio data, your as bio well. data as well, would definitely be hacked. Very true. I mean, eCitizen has been hacked, so we're not, you know, like really reaching that far. eCitizen has already been hacked. Mm -hmm. Just recently, we saw the world almost come to a standstill because of an update, um, you know, from one CrowdStrike, you know, place. The fact that uh, there's a lot of data privacy questions around this. That's part of the reason why Justice Mugambi chose to halt uh, this Maisha ID rollout. He said there's no proper data protection framework and that was what uh, Haki Nasharia Initiative stated in their petition to the court. Yeah. Unless we have a data protection framework, this will be another source of discrimination. Getting IDs is already hard enough for a lot of Kenyans. Yeah. Um, it's even hard to replace even that 100 bob that they ask for at the Huduma Center. Now if you make it a thousand shillings expiring after every 10 years vulnerable to hacking, you're making it a lot harder for people to move around i don't know if the elite or the political class has a uh, disconnect with the general public because sometimes when you say something is going to leap from like a hundred bob to a thousand to a thousand bob that yeah. is over 10 times over 10 times the amount and you've already been told that for the first in the morning is such a problem mm -hmm. so I expect the ordinary morning where would you expect the ordinary monangi to actually get the money from? Good question. Remember, you can't do anything without an ID, mm -hmm. right? Can't register for higher education, can't uh, get a help loan, for example, can't get a driver's license, can't get a scholarship, jobs, passport, yeah. uh, international jobs, you can't certificate do Certificate of that. good conduct, nothing. Yeah. I, I had a hard time traveling last year. <laughs> you remember I was told at the, uh, at the airport yeah. uh, for, like, I don't know, 18 hours? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, my cafeteria. 